Hey guys, welcome to the second installment of the JPM Shop Tour. We're going to keep on doing these on the channel because the quality is so much better with this GoPro, wouldn't you say? Let's do it. It is August 4th. And it has actually been really nice in Topeka. Really, really nice over the last few days. But it won't last. I think they're predicting 90s again um, over the next week. So it is what it is. Hey, got to do what we got to do. Let's do a shop tour. So this is a from scratch 1.6 STL Miata engine for the elders. So you can see the cylinder head is completed. We've got pistons, we've got a block that's ready to go. Just need to get after assembly, but you'll see what's been taking all my time this week. This is a cylinder head that's gonna be going back onto an engine that actually had a cracked block. And so those things happen. You know, in these uh, production classes, we are using, you know, engines that were originally just from the factory, and they're not new all these years later. I mean, some of these 1.6s are, I mean, they're 30 years old now. So just have to uh, do what we got to do when you try and race 30-year-old equipment. Sometimes it doesn't always work out. So pile of goodies here is just kind of sitting here waiting on some more parts and pieces i bet you can't imagine what i'm waiting on <clears throat> that's right head gaskets but in the meantime got bill knight's stl car in for a complete rewire new ecu so this is actually a really really nice car however it is currently utilizing a stock ecu which has been a real bear to connect to, to tune. I mean, you can use, what I've been using over the years is this Ecutech, which works pretty good when it comes to tuning these, but for some reason, there's something about the harness in this car, and it's just, I can't connect, or if I can connect, it doesn't stay connected for very long. So guess what? We can do better than that anyway. We got ourselves some Haltech action going on. Ugh. Yep. So what's gonna happen here is we're gonna yank the dash out. We're gonna do a complete gut job when it comes to wiring. Beauty of this Haltech is though, it will run things like drive-by wire throttles and throttle bodies and pedals and variable valve timing and basically anything you want it to do. So really cool car. It's time to get after rewiring this car, get a new ECU in it, and uh, get it ready for the runoffs. So we are in full-blown runoffs mode. Speaking of which, been getting after the BMW this week. So got the correct differential in for Indianapolis, and uh, everything's nut and bolt checked back here. I really, really check everything when it comes to prepping my cars. Obviously the brakes are done, Looking good, ready to go. So next thing I'll do is I'll start nut and bolt final checking the front of the car and get these brakes on up here. And uh, did get my set of tires for the runoff. So these will be the ones that uh, I'll probably run these in the race, to be honest. So Got nothing to hide. Uh, I'm a big fan of the medium soft compound when it comes to Hoosiers. These are their radial slicks. And uh, I'm running a 245, obviously, as you can see. Really good race tires. Uh, I do have, so these tires will go up onto these old rims here. I've got a set of tires here that only have a couple sessions on them. I'm gonna use these for the first day of qualifying. I am not doing a test day. So I'm gonna kinda of use the first day of qualifying as my test day. And then I will scuff those in for the second day of qualifying lightly. 
And then I've got another set of stickers here that I've actually had for quite a few months that I'll run on the last day of qualifying, see if I can, and I'll just burn these off. That'll be pole day for me, hopefully, we'll see. Go for pole day, that's the key. So lots of progress going on with the BMW. In the meantime, wiring fun. Working on the dash wiring, all of the power wiring for the switches, ECU wiring, all new harness. Finished up some of the, uh, the fuel lines are all done. You can see this is basically just what I have coming through the firewall for uh, under the hood. So should have this car wired, I'm thinking tomorrow. And uh, I want to hear this thing run. We're getting real, real close. We are on about a two-week countdown for when Doug is going to come pick this thing up. And uh, we can get it done. We're looking good. No worries. More prep, of course, on the Integra. We're just uh, going through everything. Going to do some, got the factory book out here, working on some brake master stuff. See if we can improve the brakes. Of course, we're going to put all new brakes on this as well and tires and all that. Just like we do for every race. And I am betting that Eric will be getting after this car this weekend. He is back in town from their vacation. And then last week he had a big meeting for his job. And uh, I know it looks like he's got tires stripped down, so bare wheels. So I'm betting he's got a bunch of work he's going to do this weekend, is my guess. So that's where we're at, guys. Kind of waiting on some parts for motors, but fortunately I've got two cars that need complete wiring jobs. And uh, we're going to push through on that, continue to get ready for the runoffs, and... Uh, yeah, you know, it never ends, but that's the way we like it. So hope you guys have had a great week. I appreciate you watching here on the JPM Performance Channel. Uh, this is where the shop updates will continue to be. Uh, nice, high-quality videos. And, uh, of course, if you have any questions, anytime, feel free to comment at the bottom, and I will answer your questions to the best of my ability. So... Have a great rest of your week, and uh, we'll see you next week. Take care.